welcome to today's follow along turbo session. Normally I do a live turbo session every Wednesday, but this week I'm actually commentating on some virtual racing on Ruby. So unfortunately I'm unable to do it live, but don't worry, you can follow along with this workout and hopefully it'll have just the same benefit. Today's session is race winner intervals. These are three minute intervals, but with a bit of a catch. The first 15 seconds and the last 15 seconds are a max full out, full, fast as you can go sprint. So it's a pretty, pretty spicy session this one. We're gonna be doing four of those three minute efforts. And in between each effort, we've got five minutes of rest. And trust me, you're gonna need that five minutes. So we're just gonna start here with a 10 minute warm up. I'm pressing start now. So get yourself ready, get your turbo set up, and start a nice little warm up. So, quickly to run you through the session, we are doing 10 minute warm up, three minutes on, five minutes off, times four, and then we've got a bit of a warm down, which we're going to do 10 minutes as well. As you're warming up, important to make sure you've got a nice high cadence so that you're really getting your legs properly warmed up for these efforts. They are quite intense as far as efforts go, so you want to make sure you're nice and warmed up. Probably grab yourself some drinks, some water, because this one, this is a sweaty one, especially if you're me with in front of a load of lights and no fans. Yes. <laughs> well, today's session is a follow along turbo workout. We're going to be doing four three minute race winner efforts. These are three minutes efforts with a difference. They've got a 15 second sprint at the start and a 15 second sprint at the end. So you've got 15 seconds, two minutes 30, which is going to be at threshold, which is sort of eight, nine out of 10 and then we're doing a 15 second full out sprint at the end. So these ones are tough, they are really tough. They're gonna be going kind of over and under that threshold and really they start stinging, especially that last 15 second sprint. So really important to warm up, obviously, as you should be doing now. Get yourself some Good tunes on. So, normally I'd do this session completely live and have you guys come along and join me. But today's session is going to be recorded so you can play back. And the reason I'm not doing it live this week is because I'm actually commentating on a race series that's being held on Ruby, which is an indoor training platform, quite cool, where you can ride all these different routes from all around the world, and they're help holding a virtual Tour de Suisse. So they're doing a pro race and they're doing a fan race. So I'm commentating on the fan race, and Jake will be helping me commentate as well. He's actually going to be riding some of the stages too, so that should be pretty fun but hence why I'm not able to live stream my normal time because we're going to be commentating live at the same time I normally do my turbo sessions. Oh god, I'm out of breath already. So we're currently four minutes into the warm-up. Usually during the middle part of my warm-up I like to progressively build the effort just to try and get my heart rate up, try and get myself ready for the effort that's about to come. Trying to build a bit of form, 
It's really good for practicing that change of speed, being able to accelerate and recover and then go again. So this is really relevant for racing and it's also great for building your fitness. Often when you're going above and below your threshold is a good way to push that threshold hopefully a little bit higher and to gain some fitness. We haven't done a session like this just yet as a follow along. But do let me know in the comments down below how you find it, obviously after the session. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be quite difficult during, although, you know, in that rest period you might get a little bit of time. Feel free. So we are five and a half minutes into the warm up at the minute. Starting to really feel my legs loosen up now. Almost ready. I mean, I don't think you're ever fully prepared for a turbo session. I think the biggest thing for me is getting the kit on is the hardest step of any training session. Ooh. So things to focus on during this session is when you're in the three minute effort, once you get to that two minute 30 threshold block, really try and keep it consistent, really try and keep it to your true hour power because trust me, they're gonna start accumulating those efforts and it's really gonna to start to sting. So consistency in the middle part, and then of course, you've gotta give it everything in those 15 seconds at the start and at the end. What I would say, in the first 15 seconds, once I've done the 15 second sprint, I then sit down and try and, I don't just suddenly drop off the pace, I gradually bring it to threshold. Because the thing is, if you, if you sprint and stop, then it will be so difficult to then get back up to threshold. Whereas if you just squeeze it down into that place, I find that that's a lot easier for me personally. Cool, so we're seven minutes into the warm up. <sighs> Not long to go. So you can adapt this session. You could potentially throw in an extra 15 second sprint in the middle. You could make it a longer effort. You could even add another rep on the end. And you can increase and decrease the rest if it's too hard, if it's too easy. So the reason I've chosen to do four efforts with a five minute rest is because I feel that's like a moderate level session. It's not super hard that it's not so hard that people won't be able to do it. So I think it's, it's a good place for, for people to start. And I think with the turbo sessions I like to do online, I like to keep them to kind of just under an hour for the total of the session. So I think it's a really good fitness workout. It gets it done, gets it done in an hour or less. And they're the kind of sessions I like these days because I like to get my workout done and then spend time doing the things, the other things in my life that are important, stroking dogs and, you know, drinking cups of tea, that sort of thing. <laughs> okay, so eight and a half minutes into the warm up. Ooh, I'm already starting to sweat now. Ooh. So we're coming up to one minute left of warm up. I'm going to make sure that everything's ready. So the first three minute effort starts with 15 second max sprint. This is as hard as you can go. It's a, it's a sprint, 15 seconds. Then you're going to settle back down into your threshold. This is your hour power, your FDP. It should feel like an eight or a nine out of 10. And then, the final 15 seconds, you're going to bring it home as if you're sprinting for the finish line. I always find it helps to, to think about finishing, finishing a race or something to get the most out of yourself. So get ready, we're going in 20 seconds. So you want to get yourself in the right gear. Make sure the resistance on your turbo is good. 
We're going in 10 seconds for that sprint and then into the threshold. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. 15 second sprint. Okay, now to threshold. Try and control that breathing. We're just going to sit here and try and relax into it if we can. Okay, we're halfway now. Hold on to the pain. Okay, last minute. It's a weird one because 
that sprint really makes my legs lactic but then I found I was sort of not recovering but I was just starting to get into the rhythm of holding threshold and then you have to do the sprint at the end it's like whoa ow <laughs> so yeah I think this is a really good session and uh, fingers crossed you'll see the benefit of something like this and the great thing is if you enjoyed or if you do enjoy this session you can come back and do it all again if you so wish oh, just make sure my camera doesn't turn off <laughs> okay so I'm back to being able to breathe now three minutes of rest almost done so we've got a couple minutes until the next effort make sure you get some hydration in keep your cadence nice and high in a light gear and just try and relax get ready for the next effort we're in this together so it's not too bad So when I'm doing this warm down, or this cool down between efforts, I try and keep my cadence at 90 RPM or above if I can, just because that's the best way to get rid of some of that lactic acid and start the recovery process already, hopefully. Okay, so we have got One minute to go now until we go again. So what I'd suggest now is mentally prepare yourself. I find that sometimes taking a few big deep breaths helps. At least mentally anyway. Okay, we've got 30 seconds until we go. So just a reminder, 15 seconds sprint, 2 minutes 30 at threshold, 15 seconds sprint. And this one should feel a bit easier, because no doubt you went maybe a bit too hard in the first one. And if you didn't go hard enough in the first one, this is your opportunity to push on a bit more. So we're going in 8 seconds. Put yourself in the right gear. Three, two, one, 15 seconds sprint, here we go. Up, 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 up. Someone's just attacked. You've got to follow them. Five seconds at this sprint. Okay, settling into the threshold now. You're on the wheel. You've made it to the breakaway. You just gotta sit here. It's a bit uncomfortable, but you're with the world's best. <laughs> okay. This is a good pace. Okay, two minutes left. You can do this speed. Hold on to it. It's meant to hurt. Okay, we're halfway. You're holding your own. You can do 
this. One minute left. You're well within the last kilometer of the race. Your favorite race. For me, it's Paris Roubaix. You're in the velodrome. You're pushing hard around the track. Fifteen seconds till the sprint. You're getting ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Last fifteen seconds. Give it everything. You can see the finish line. And so, oh, okay, back in the middle, yeah, keep spinning, you just won the race, how do you feel, <laughs> oh that was a tough one, halfway though, hydration you don't want it sloshing around for these sprints I can tell you that <laughs> so usually for a session like this I just go for an electrolyte mix or just plain water um, I find that when I have like carb drink it can just I've said the stomach especially when you're doing intervals that are in that kind of vo2 threshold sicky zone as I would say, you don't want to have anything that could potentially surprise you after one of these efforts. Okay. So two more of these. We have 
very soon we have about um, just over a minute left Ooh, until we start the fun all over again. Ooh. Okay, we're in two minutes here. Get yourself ready. We're going to take another break right now. Where, where are we going to go? I know, so just imagine the first 15 seconds is that bit over the climb and then you're away on your own. But then towards the end, the bunch is going to catch you. So <laughs> have that in your mind now as we start in 20 seconds. Get yourself in the right gear. Ten seconds now. Get yourself ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Fifteen second sprint. Here we go. Okay, down to the brush arm now. You're away on your own. Hold on to the threshold. You've got to get in your little time trial, your pursuit zone. In your mind, that little place where you're in pain, but that's where it's meant to be. One minute in, two to go. Embrace the burn. And we're halfway. Hold on to it. This is your happy place. You can feel comfy here. Last minute. Fifteen seconds until the sprint. Get ready for the sprint. In three, two, one. Final sprint. Open it up. Ten. Five. And relax. recovery and then we got one more okay one more left that's it okay get that cadence back up I know that one really hurt 
But I always think the third effort, or the once you get just past halfway, I think that's the hardest effort. But the last effort, it's not that it takes care of itself, but you know that that's it, you can get it all out. And that's what we're going to do in this next effort. Oh. It's just all burn that one. Ooh. Very warm now. I hope you guys have got a fan at home. So I imagine that it's not fun without a fan. Okay. Okay, so we've just got, got just over three minutes until our last effort of the day. Once we've done the last effort, it's a 10 minute cool down. So I'm just gonna ramble for 10 minutes. But feel free, if you don't want to listen to me rambling, to maybe go back and watch some of my other videos that I've been doing. There's a lot of good content on there. It's probably slightly better than just watching me ramble and warm down on the turbo. If you are interested, I will leave a card at the top of the screen. So after this effort, if you want to go watch another video, go for it. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Two and a half minutes till the last effort of the day. And I don't know when you're watching this, but I'm filming this just before dinner. So when, when I'm doing the effort, when I do my water, I think, mm, if I just, you know, give it everything, then I can have my, my nice tasty reward afterwards, whatever that's going to be. I don't know. I'm not cooking today. Ooh. Okay. Two minutes until we go, roughly. I always find the anticipation for the last one quite strong. <laughs> that would be all that it would be all worth it at the end. And this is the one that really counts, the last effort. You've got to get everything out. And this this interval session allows you to do that because if you've not tried hard enough, then don't worry there's a 15 second sprint at the end, which almost certainly will push you to the limit which is totally the point of this session, is getting used to and comfortable just being in that, in that kind of suffering place, the hurt box, the pain cave, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Okay, so we're going in 30 seconds. Get yourself into the right gear. This is the last one. Going in 20 seconds. Okay, I'm going to count you into this one. Get ready. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. 15 second sprint. Let's go. Let's go. Last effort. Make it count. Okay, I need to fresh hold now. Hold on to that pace. This is the last one.
Two minutes left. Keep it smooth. You've got this. Halfway. Last minute. You can do this. We're coming into the final sprint. Hold on to it. Ten seconds to the sprint. Get ready to give it everything. In three, two, one. Last fifteen. Here we go. Sprint to the line. Everything you've got now. Ten. Last five seconds. And relax. Into a light gear and try and spin. Wow. Okay. That was hard. I'm sure you can agree. And now we're going to do a 10 minute warm down. Pretty sure that I may have moved the laptop during that effort. <laughs> it's only because I was trying so hard. <laughs> Try and get the cadence back up to 90. Well done. That was a really difficult session. So, hopefully, if you're completely sweating, and you found that a good workout, then it was a success. And if you enjoyed it, please do let me know down in the comments. This isn't a live stream, as you know, so I've not got questions to answer at the end. But if you do have any questions or things you're wondering about to do with the session, do let me know and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So, oh. If you are following the wall down with me, then we have, I think, eight minutes of wall down left. I'm not really, I've not really been paying complete attention. That was hard. That was really hard. Whoa. Whoa. So that session was suggested to me by Jake. Um, so thanks for that. Jake, that was pretty horrible. <laughs> but I'm definitely feeling the benefit of doing a structured turbo session every week. So I've been doing them every Wednesday for the past three, four weeks now. So hopefully they've been of use. And what's great with this is you can go back at any time and re-watch this session or follow along 
however you like. I know some people, they watch this session and they also, you know, meet up on Zwift as well or whatever indoor platform you want to use. And yeah, they just have all things. They've got their music blasting. They've got me being Mrs. Motivator and they're also riding along with their friends too. So it's crazy what you can do just from your own home. And I think what's great about doing something like this is it, it does really motivate me to get everything to. I really am giving it as much as I can whilst I'm doing this, as you can hopefully, hopefully tell <laughs> that I'm trying hard. So, we now have, I believe, about six minutes of warm down. It soon goes past this warm down. If you're obviously in a hurry, you can do a shorter five minute warm down if you're in a rush to go somewhere. But I would recommend if you can do 10 minute warm down, it does help. I find that if I just jump straight off, I feel as though it sometimes makes me more stiff. Um, but I can understand, you know, people have time constraints or whatever. But if you can, a warm down, maybe a bit of a foam roller afterwards, a little bit of a stretch, getting a protein shake or a meal straight after so you've got a hit of carbs and protein to recover those muscles is super important. So yeah, do leave any recovery tips, turbo tips in the comments down below because as much as I can give tips and suggest things, I think some of the most beneficial tips and tricks actually come from the people who watch this and you know you guys can have a little chat down in the comments and let each other know what you're doing, what, what things work for you whilst you're turbo training, what things you like to do when you recover. But also if there's a specific session that you'd like me to lead you through then let me know. I'm open for <laughs> recommendations. I should be back up and running next week with the live turbo streams. So 6 p.m. every Wednesday there will be a live turbo session apart from today obviously because I'm doing some commentary but other than that I should be for the foreseeable future doing these live streams. <sighs> Okie dokie. Four minutes left. And usually, usually when I'm doing the, uh, the live stream or whatever, I, I have questions flying in from you guys to, to <laughs> inspire me. So I might have to get Jake in here to ask me some questions. Jake, would you ask me some questions, please? I was just saying how normally on my live streams I get people asking me questions but obviously because this isn't live I don't have anything to waffle on about in the last 10 minutes so do you have any questions for me Jake? Am I staying in this video now? Is it part of the video? It is part of the video yes. You're not editing this out? I'm not editing this out. <laughs> keep it, um, keep it kosher. <laughs> mm. But we only have about three minutes left, so you don't have to ask me that many questions. <laughs> what discipline of cycling have you always wanted to try, but never tried? Ooh, I think that's a difficult one because I've tried a lot of disciplines of cycling. Um, bicycle gymnastics looks insane, I'd love to try that. <laughs> you know, and they're like balance on the handlebars and stuff. I mean, I feel like I'd be awful at it, but I'd yeah, love to try it. <laughs> it just looks really cool. It's like a massive thing in Germany, I think. Is it Germany? All over Europe, probably. Yeah, I thought you were making it up. Yeah, I'm just making it up. I don't know. Um... I might have to sack you from this question asking. 
Would you rather win? <laughs> would you rather win Dirty Kanza? Okay. Or Would you rather win Dirty Kanza or well, there's two, right? There's there's two or three, right? Okay, Dirty Kanza, Red Hook yeah. Crit if it was still going, Red Hook Crit overall. Okay. Or a stage of um like the women's store, the women's gear. <laughs> Is it bad that it's Red Hook Crit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I mean I've never ridden the tour of Britain. So I don't know what's that. What well, like the, like. You know, like the Giro, so I know you have but like the, something that's like a pinnacle. I would still say Red Hook. I mean, maybe that's just because like the little hipster in me just isn't fulfilled by uh, <laughs> winning road races. I don't know. I, it's hard. Like I'd take any of them on my Palmares, really. But I mean, my biggest accomplishment in the last few years is. Winning the <laughs> Brompton race. <laughs> Biggest cycling bucket list. Um, I mean... Three things you want to do in cycling that you haven't done. Oh, uh, I'd love to do a, an endurance event. Uh -huh. um, I don't know what that would be yet. Or, I mean, maybe S Rebel Time Lapse or like a big again. gravel race or maybe like across Europe or something, like, I don't know how, I'd have to be pretty... Yeah, like trans, um, Yeah, like something along those lines, maybe not that crazy, but I'd like to give some sort of multiple day bikepacking race thing a go. Um, but honestly, a lot of my bucket list riding is to, like, tick off the iconic climbs that I've not done, you know, Stelvio, I've not done any of the Alps. Um, and yeah, so I suppose a lot of my goals with cycling now are to to go to places and explore different countries and like do the routes I've not done. That I've seen, you know, race on the TV and stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and we are done. So thank you for those questions, Jay. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this session. Sorry it wasn't a live one. We will be back live next Wednesday. Six o'clock UK time. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. Leave us a like on the video if you enjoyed the suffering. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Keep risking it for a biscuit.